This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Today we have a Mila dishwasher with the classic F14 error. And the F14 error means that there's not enough water pressure being created. It could be that the motor's wearing out. It could be that the heater pressure switch uh, needs to be cleaned or replaced. It can also be something caught inside the mechanism that is just limiting water pressure. Also, there may not be enough water entering into the machine to create enough water pressure. The water should reach up to the bottom of the triple filter handle. And if it doesn't reach that high, that can be the problem. In this case, the motor keeps cutting out and most likely the motor is just getting worn out. This video will show how to replace the heater pressure switch and also how to clean it but with this particular machine most likely it will need to have the motor replaced so here's the machine running normally and then here's the error we can see all the lights blinking we can see the f14 displayed on the digital digital display so we are going to unplug it and we're going to put it on its side and then remove the bottom panel and we're going to get to the heater pressure switch. We're just moving some of these hoses to get them out of the way. So we're just using the spring clamps to loosen them up, get that black hose out of the way and then we're going to take one more hose, this white hose in the front out of the way. It's just to give us a little bit easier access to the heater pressure switch. You can also check when you remove these hoses that there's not some kind of gunk caught in these ports. And these all look pretty good. They weren't, they were not very dirty. Here's a heater pressure switch. And we're going to use a standard head screwdriver to pry up on this little plastic tab. Just gently pry it up. You don't want to break it off. And there's one on each side. So you want to gently pry up each one. Then you can just lift off the heater pressure switch. Here's our standard head screwdriver, just a little bit of pressure. You're gonna lift it up off of the motor. There we go. Create a little space. We'll go to the other side, same thing. And we can lift the heater pressure switch off and we can then remove the green ground connection and also we can remove the four wire modular connectors on the top these are the ports where the pressure sensor sat just making sure there's they're not a lot of junk caught in there it looks pretty good pretty clean so in this case i think the motor is just getting old and not creating enough pressure anymore just checking inside these ports, making sure there's no junk caught in there that could easily be cleaned out. Looks pretty good. So we're using a little electrical cleaner to clean these contacts on the heater pressure switch. Uh, they were looking slightly corroded. Let's see if that could help. So we got the modular connections put back in and we're going to just put the heater pressure switch back into position. So if you have a new one, this is this procedure you would use to put the heater pressure switch back in. It does have those two uh, black rubber grommets, you want to make sure those are in, in position. The heater pressure switch can only go in one way, so you can't accidentally put it in the wrong way. And then we're going to put the hoses back on. Also, the modular connections uh, for the wires on the heater pressure switch can only go in one way, so you can't can't do it wrong. Put the hose clamp connections back on. Make sure they're tight. I'm going to put the bottom piece back on four screws and then give it a test and so far it's doing good 
but we are hearing the motor run for about 10 seconds, then it cuts out for about 10 seconds and runs for five, 10 seconds, cuts out for 10 seconds. So I think the motor's just getting old. And if it does that too many times, the computer will launch an F14 code. It'll drain out all the water. And then that's just an indication that some, something is limiting the amount of water pressure it can create and just stops the cycle. So again, with this one, it's most likely just that the motor is worn out. The motors are actually pretty easy to put in, but they're fairly expensive. So this may be the end for this particular dishwasher. Thank you so much for watching, and please subscribe to our channel when you get a chance.